If I were to ask our audience, you and people like you, if you could see any band, regardless of whether they're still around or not, I bet Allman Brothers might be among the responses, maybe the dead. Well, this Friday, so much of that music and more will be performed live when Warren Haynes Band and the Dreams and Songs Symphonic Experience come to Everwise Amphitheater at White River State Park. And it's a thrill to have Warren Haynes on with me right now. Good morning, sir. How you doing? I'm great now. So this is interesting to me. So for being somebody who's so well-known for improvisation, to be playing with a structured orchestra, how does that work? Is there room built in for you to do what you do in these arrangements that they're playing? Yeah, we've uh, purposefully made it where uh, sometimes the symphony will drop out and the band can improvise for an undetermined amount of time. And then on cue, the conductor will bring the orchestra back in. So it allows us to kind of have the best of both worlds. What kind of stuff have you been particularly excited to play on this tour that people may not be expecting? I've been seeing some cool stuff on like setlist.fm that you've been doing. Well, uh, for the symphony stuff, the setlist is completely different than it is for the normal Warren Haynes Band uh, shows. I picked material going back a few years that I felt like would work with a symphony the best. I'm not really a a fan of marrying rock music and orchestral music together just for the sake of doing it. I, I I much prefer when the, the song itself makes sense. And so luckily we have a lot of material to pick from. There are songs like, whipping post that nobody would expect to hear with a symphony that actually works really, really well. Uh, Some Grateful Dead songs that I discovered a few years ago when I did the Jerry Garcia symphonic uh, experience. Some of the ones like Terrapin Station work perfectly. Terrapin had an orchestra on the original version and the Grateful Dead was never able to perform it that way. (laughs) Uh, And so to hear it come to life all these years later is really cool. But until you actually hear what it what it is, it's hard to explain how some of these songs work out because they're they're different than we've ever heard them before. I think that'll be the surprise in itself, uh, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, Warren, I hope you don't mind if I bring up Dickie Betts, who we just lost this past spring. Uh, Dickie was a lot older than you, as was Butch and... Greg, Woody was a little closer in age, but has losing these friends made you think a little more about your own health, both mentally and physically? I mean, being a musician at your level, I'm sure life is a tough balance. Yeah, I mean, we've lost so many friends recently that you can't help but think about uh, your own life and try to uh, not just live in a more healthy way, but to accomplish things that have been on your list for a while, which is kind of the the reason behind the title of this tour, which is now is the time, which I kind of look at to mean if there's something you want to do, you need to do it because you never know. And it's it's good for me to check things off my list that I've wanted to do for a long time and have never gotten around to. I feel like once we all came through COVID like we have, it's just important to think about the things that are most important in your life. And I, I appreciate you bringing up Dickie Betts uh, and, and Woody and Greg and Butch. Uh, Dickie was a, a huge loss. Dickie was the person that gave me uh, the biggest break of my career. And and when he invited me to join the Allen Brothers in 1989, so many doors opened for me at that point and uh, I could never repay him. Mm. Now is the time indeed. He'll be at Everwise Amphitheater at White River State Park, not just with his band, but an orchestra this Friday. And we'll link you to tickets at WTTSFM.com. Warren Haynes, what a pleasure. Thank you for your time, man. My pleasure. Thank you.